welcome to another Fragment Friday. This is my third one and I think it's going pretty well considering all the technical difficulties I have and how my computer makes me love to do it four times. Woo! Okay, um, Fragment Friday is a meme hosted by James at bookshoot.com, um, the blogspot.com actually, and it's when we share a piece of our favorite book or a book that we're currently reading um, and you get to listen to it and then support it and buy it and read it and tell everybody about it because it's awesome typically um always actually so today i am going to read one of my favorite books because the book that i was reading was clockwork angel and i didn't want to ruin you know anything uh, but it was so good and oh. so this book is one of my favorites i i love it it's on my like top 10 list of all time books and um my friend and had it for three months. I haven't had this book in three months. And I got it in the mail today and I was so excited because I just love it. And I knew that's what I was going to be reading from. And that book is Fire by Kristen Kishore. And it is just an incredible read. Um, Raceling is the first one. They're companion books, so you can read them in any order. And um, they're so good. And sorry about the lighting. It's kind of weird in here. But... You're not here for me, you're here for the book, so let's just jump in. But suddenly, Fire wasn't listening, because she was unsettled, as she had been several times that day, by the sense of a presence that was strange, familiar, and out of place. A person who should not be there. She gripped Small's mane and shook her head. Small took his nose away from Brigand's chest and peered back at her. Lady, Brigand said, what is it? It almost seems... No, it's gone now. Never mind, it's nothing. Brigham looked at her, puzzled. She smiled and explained. Sometimes I have to let a perception sit for a while before it makes sense to me. Ah. He considered the span of Small's long nose. Was it something to do with my mind? What? Fire said. Are you joking? Should I be? Do you think I sense anything at all of your mind? Don't you? Brigand, she said, startled out of her manners. Your consciousness is a wall with no cracks in it. Never once have I had the slightest hint of anything from your mind. Oh, he said eloquently. Hm. He rearranged the straps of leather on his shoulders, looking rather pleased with himself. I'd assumed you were doing it on purpose, Fire said. I was. Only it's hard to know how successful one is at such things. Your success is complete. How about now? Fire stared. What do you mean? Are you asking if I sense your feelings now? Of course I don't. And now? It came to her like the gentlest wave from the deep ocean of his consciousness. She stood quiet and absorbed it. It took hold of her own feelings. For the fact of Brigand releasing a feeling to her, the first feeling he'd ever given her, made her inordinately happy. She said, I sense that you're amused by this conversation. Interesting, he said, smiling. Fascinating. And now that my mind is open, could you take it over? Never. You've let a single feeling out, but that doesn't mean I could march in and take control. Try, he said. And even though his voice was friendly and his face open, Fire was frightened. I don't want to. It's only an experiment. The word made her breathless with panic. No, I don't want to. Don't ask me to. And now he was leaning close against the stall door and speaking low. Lady, forgive me. I've distressed you. I won't ask it again, I promise. You don't understand. I would never. I know. I know you wouldn't. Lady, please, I wish it unsaid. Fire found that she was gripping Small's mane harder than she meant to be. She released the poor horse's hair and smoothed it and fought against the tears pushing their way to her surface. She rested her face against Small's neck and breathed his warm, horsey smell. And now she was laughing, a breathy laugh that sounded like a sob. I'd thought once, actually, of taking your mind, if you asked. I thought I could help you fall asleep at night. He closed his mouth to say something, shut it again, his face closed for a moment, his unreadable mask falling into place. He spoke softly. But that wouldn't be fair, for after... I slept, you'd be left awake, with no one to help you sleep. Fire wasn't certain what they were talking about anymore. 
and she was desperately unhappy, for it was not a conversation to distract her from how she felt about this man. Welkley walked in then, with a summons for Brigand to go to the king. Fire was relieved to see him go. Um, oh, it's just so good, and if you've never read it, you should get it, and read it, and tell your friends about it, um, because that's the purpose of books, is to share them. Um, and, um, speaking of books, the Half Moon Tour is still going on, the book cover tour, um, by Jordan Jean, and it's below if you want to read about it, and participate, and win some really, 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 really awesome prizes, and it's super easy, and you have until the 9th, so I'll probably mention it again, and the YA Takeover giveaway is still going on to the 7th, um, you can win swag, and books, and arcs, and all kinds of awesomeness, so check those out, and... Have a great Friday and a safe weekend. Bye.